about the safety aspect of it? Right, well, I'm using very sharp um, implements, some um, instruments for it, and they're very good carving ones this year that I've got. But I still have to be careful, even as an adult. So if you are a child, get your parents to do this with you because it is quite dangerous. Or if you find it really difficult, or you just want to be safe like me, um, do get an, another adult who's quite good at carving pumpkins to do it and please i do emphasize be safe and and my carer said that as well said the same careful um my brother looks very childish he 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 did one didn't he he did yeah. like a nursery one I liked it. and my carer did one as well mm. And hers it like Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Right, try to keep keep everything a bit tidy when you're doing it. Don't move you a little bit messy. You can always tidy it up after. Sometimes you do tidy it up and don't let your parents tidy it up. Definitely. My brother was really good at tidying up. It's good. Trained well. Like a dog, no, I'm joking. No, then, be, this, what's that expression go? Pavlov's dogs. Train like a... Pavlov's dogs. Yeah. Is that, where's that come from, that expression? Uh, Pavlov's is a psychologist that um, did experiments uh, with behaviour. And um, he did experiments with the dogs. And his name is Pavlov. So they named his experiments after him hence it's called Pavlov how long have you been come um parfing pumpkins all my life really <laughs> but funny enough each year you kind of have a separate sort of feeling about the pumpkins so um, even you can be carving for a long time and still go wrong. Okay. And um, do you want to say inside the pumpkin? If you look inside the pumpkin, it's like a cave. <laughs> Definitely. Do you want to say um, your um, favourite bit about carving pumpkins? Um, for it's, put, uh, it's putting the candle in. If you've got a cat though, we've got a new cat, so we have to be very careful. With you can do fake pumpkins. candles. What you can do, which I found on TikTok, the idea, guys. Um, what you can do is cut the bottom of the pumpkin and just put a fake candle in. Or it's actually apparently safer with a natural candle as well. You don't have to cut the bottom to, to uh, put a uh, But it makes it more... What they, what they say is it makes it a lot easier. Really? Yeah. Easier for what? Um, to put the candle in. Oh. And a lot more safer. And these are some of the car carving um, the materials. Yeah, and you can draw it first as so she's got a pencil there. Have you used car carving punk um, nice before um, last year? Yeah. I've always used carving um, equipment. Because uh, it's kind of specially done for it, isn't it? Definitely. And... So what do you like about Halloween? I like to do... Um, I like my... Um, my um, blogs and helping other people, giving them ideas what to do for Halloween. 
and I like also telling people about the safety for Halloween because I think it's really important. Be very careful, like just like that, what she's doing. This is very good cat, this is so far. Very good. And um and also if you go on um the internet they've got a um for children they've got carving pumpkin um game online which I play because I'm a big kid and it's you don't have to download it, it's it's free online. And as you can see, you can see a carved net. Very well, you can see it. Sometimes it is a bit hard to carve. What my brother's girlfriend did when she did it, she um she um didn't carve it straight away. What she did, she shaded it first. The, all the little bits first, then she carved it. But it definitely reminds me of Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. So I put whiskers? I'll definitely put whiskers. Quite big. How quite big, big do you think you're you're the one who's doing it? Yeah, quite big. And if you're doing it and you got this size pumpkin, do it quite big but not too big so you can't carve it. And if you can't do a cat, just do anything. Childish is good. So I think lines are easier to carve in circles. Like my brother did. Do you want to show it so far? To people. Wow, that's amazing. I couldn't do any better if I tried. But she, to be fair, it does help to be really good at art. But if you're not, don't worry. You can, and if you can't carve, just paint on it. Because I've seen people paint on it. Their pumpkin. Just do that. Don't have to worry. And even if you are good at art, you might want to paint on it. Because <laughs> you might prefer painting yeah, to exactly. carving. Um. Anyway, and what's your favourite thing about Halloween? Um, I love people dressing up. Do you prefer Halloween or Christmas or birthdays? That's well, hard. I like them all. I prefer Halloween. Um, I prefer Christmas. I meant to say sorry. Um, not because I don't like Halloween. When you say you prefer it, doesn't mean you don't like it. It means it's your favourite. And the reason why, because you get clever. But I, what I like about Halloween, you get, um, you can get together and dress up, or you can um, give out um, sweets to trick or treaters. But this year I didn't do it just because of COVID. But what I did do when it was, because um, it was not down, what I did is have my carer over and my brother over for Halloween and it was really fun and saying she made an amazing pumpkin pie and she did a one look well meant to be like a lattice pie or what did you do with the pumpkin seeds tell I, everyone I am um, be very careful if you've got an um, in, with your nails, make sure your nails are cut and not bendy. What's that? Because you can drop it sometimes. Drop what? The um, food, and it can be dangerous. So you, you don't want to accident and go to hospital on Halloween. It's not very fun. Um, what I, what I did, I made pumpkin. Well, I didn't make the pumpkin seeds. I, um, I got. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> the pumpkins made the pumpkin seeds. seeds. <laughs> and um, out of the pumpkins, out of the pumpkin, um, I got the pumpkin seeds. 
and I put olive oil on them and and, and covered it and covered it vinegar. then balsamic vinegar then I crisped it up but do it a bit longer than I did just because it's cooked probably but it was cooked enough to eat still but you it's put it a, we put some more back in the oven don't oven, we yeah yours, if you need to you can always put it better. back in the oven because it doesn't go it doesn't go um um totally wrong because it's not it's it's not really undercooked, but it just to get it more crispier. Cause it wasn't undercooked, was it at all? No. It's just sometimes it tastes better when it's crispier. We also because pumpkin seeds were quite wet, weren't they? Still. Definitely. Um, just cause um beforehand they had a bit of oil already in it, and. Sometimes that happens, but I was trying to recycle the oil and use the oil been used before being sensible. Um, I absolutely love pumpkin soup. When we did a green pumpkin soup, we followed Jill's recipe. If anyone knows Jill from the talk shop, so you did a, a green pumpkin soup, definitely, mm -hmm. and that's. If you know her, she's from the talk it's shop. Not green in, pumpkins. It's uh, pea and spinach um, and pumpkin. It's from Jill's recipe. But it's green rather than orange. It's um, it's Jill's recipe from the talk shop in Stoning Park in Hove. But she's not there anymore. Anymore. Not because she doesn't want to be. Just she's doing different things. Or she's a bit older now as well. But in a nice. Way, but she's so she's so um sweet the lady was yes uh, also lose that Jo I think oh. I always I, I, just, I think she's such a sweetheart I love her to pieces she's very good with your children wasn't she's, she we all loved her to be honest to you yeah she's like um and what we used to do is we used like to have a, a community allotment she's, but she was, and we used to grow the food and then uh, the children would um, cook their recipe of their choice and uh, their food choice with Jill. But she was like, and then we'd a, all eat it, wouldn't we? She was like a um, kind of um, what do you call it? Mother. No, um, almost like a a bit like a mother, but almost like a kind of in that not because she was old, just because of kind of grandma how grandma is, because the grandma's more like gentle and like instead of giving out sweets she did healthy healthy eating healthy eating and as you can see she's scooping out some stuff just to make it a bit better and how are you going to do the ears I was going to ask you to choose some ears out of uh, the remains there definitely I can do that I love to. Got a feeling that um. Yes, I could. You can do little lid. Could do, or they can catch it up big ears. Well, to listen to, have you ever heard of the thing called Red Riding Hood? They have big ears. Better to listen to, my dear. Um, and right. that was a bit of um. A bit from Red Riding Hood. All the better to listen to you, my dear. Ah, oh, see, it's spoken to, from a true actor from from the actors. Equity. Set, equity, and all it used to be from the equity, um actors centre as well. But it closed down now, hadn't it? Unfortunately, yeah. As many things are closing down, don't be surprised if you see something closed down. Unfortunately, it happens. Do you want to show the face so far? Hold on. Just going to work out where to cut the ears. Just going to show um, the um, face now. And that looks really am amazing. And this is a carved pumpkin stuff to carve it. It looks really amazing, it does. Do 
which is an amazing job. Cleaning it up. And um, I think it looks really amazing. And do you think this time was easier than last year? Well, I don't know really. How does that look there? Good. I think. Or do there, innit? Definitely. Should I do another one? Find another one that's a bit bigger. And um, why do you think you're the um? I'm not the expert. No, I wasn't. I was going <laughs> to say the artist in this. Team. Oh yes, interpretive artist. Do you think Serena be carving pumpkins or? Oh yes, I'm sure she will. Serena is Lucy's art therapist. Um, she's called Serena Sussex if you want to get a hold of her artwork. Uh, you don't do it that way. You cut it away from yourself, because if you if you if you, if you cut it towards yourself, you're liable to cut yourself. Okay. So anything that you feel tempted to do, do it away from yourself. Cut it away, not not towards yourself. Are you going to do lines on? Um, not lines. Are you going to do a little hole on top to put? I the ears certainly in? am. Because that's another way you can do the ears. As yeah, well, that's right? where I'm going to do it. I'm just cleaning up after me. Which is very good actually. It's not necessarily matter if you get messy, but it's nice to then you have less to clear up as a good tip. Especially if you're a parent. Yeah. Sure yeah. point? Where? There. Just there. Here? Yeah. Oop. Definitely. Oop. You have to be so careful that you don't cut yourself. And you've got to look at the thickness, and this one's very thin. So I'm going to do a very thin hole. There we are. See how that goes. Lift it up again because it was actually lifted up again. That was it. Hmm. No, it won't stay, will it? I think you're doing a very good job. Well, I think I should have gone that way. I think you've done a very good job so far. That's better, isn't it? There. And Look. this one there. I think you're doing an amazing job. Very quick. Well, we've got uh, quite a few tasks for Halloween today. I've got to finish the. Um, we've done one of these. So you can show that. I'm going um, But we've done. Um, do you want to explain what it is for people? Uh, what it is, is you can either, um, you, you, you get it from the shop and you can either um, buy one for an existing memory, like my cat, who's fully alive and well, and um, basically it's a tribute to them. For uh, being alive. Or a memorial to a cat or a pet that was alive. But you could do it on the theme of um day of the the morte. The day of the the day of the morte. The day of the dead. dead. Yeah. Did I pronounce it properly? Yeah, your motto is right. Yeah, that means death. Just so it's polite to for other people's culture to get it right. Do you want do you want a bigger ear? Because I can make a bigger ear. Do you want me to make a bigger ear? Yeah. It's up to you. Right. But I'm going to say this joke. Here, here. Here, here. Right, well, just try a bigger ear, okay? It's up to you. Let's see, let's see. Maybe a bit thinner there. Just be very careful what you're doing.
That's better, isn't it? Definitely looks really amazing. Do you want to bring it up closer to show people? Okay, yeah. Ooh. And this is um, been a pumpkin. I'm just going to let her just say a bit of words how to be safe and stuff. Okay, so remember, when you're using shop tools, you actually um, have your parents around if you're a child. And even if you're a parent, be careful and always cut away from yourself, not towards your body. And if anything looks a bit too difficult, just go slowly and take it by stage. So break a bit off and then do a bit more. I think the trickiest bit is just starting it off, actually. Starting that hole off. So just be careful when you're doing it, okay? And um, have a great time and, and make sure you've got some plaster nearby. If you're um, a child, do you rec as a parent, do you recommend... I recommend that the parent does it if possible. Definitely. And the child does all the drawing of it. And in, and if you're going to recommend an age group to do it, how old do you think for I safety reasons? I don't know. I, I, it all depends on what the capabilities of people, Lucy. Definitely. But, I agree with that. You know, I can't say how old. How old did you let your children do? I can't what? remember. You've done it for a long time. Definitely. But with me, I but find it you're quite... You're always supervising, Lucy. Just because I find it... Not because of my disability, just because I find it safer. You find it quite difficult to do. Do. Well, you don't have to have disability to find it difficult because no. it might not be your forte. That's right. And enjoy Halloween. And obviously don't go out and talk to strangers. Safeguard yourself. And don't, if you're not going don't, out... Don't do trick and treating if you're going to do it on your own. If you're... You have to be careful anyway because of COVID this year. Definitely, but if you're not doing trick or treating, you're, or you're not going anyway. out, have a good time. You Make can... things. We made things. Things, and and one of the things we made, as we talked about, is a graveyard. Yeah, it's for your Kit Kat, wasn't it? Definitely. And um, we also made um, sweets and cookies and pies and soup. So we did quite a lot of stuff. But the and this lovely pumpkin, bring us the, bring us. The lovely soup, green we soup. Had. Yeah. We've already ate the soup, haven't we? Yeah, I'm just going to show a bit of it. I'm just going to show a bit of all of it. And we did an old fashioned thing, and what, yeah, but not as old fashioned as VHR. We watched a DVD of Harry Potter. Hope you have a good Halloween if you're trick or treating or if you're watching a movie dressing up for Halloween or if you're doing something creative for Halloween. Hope you have a good Halloween. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and a comment down below if you like this video.